Today, we'll give an overview of the speaking section's question types, recording your responses, rubric, scoring, preparation tips, and additional reminders. There are four questions, and you'll have 17 minutes total to complete the speaking section. You'll have one independent speaking task, where you'll speak about your ideas, opinions, and experiences. Then, you'll have three integrated speaking tasks, where you'll respond to a question after reading a passage or listening to a lecture or conversation excerpt. Here is the structure and order of this section. First question is an independent speaking question with an open-ended theme. You have 15 seconds preparation time and then you have to speak for 45 seconds and this could be about any topic. Next, you have the first integrated question which involves a reading passage and conversation audio. You have 30 seconds to prepare your answer and 60 seconds to speak. And this could be on university policies, rules, plans, campus facilities or just general campus life. Question three is the next integrated question. Uh, you have a reading passage and this time a lecture audio. Uh, you have again 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to give your answer. And this might be about life science, social science, physical science, or perhaps the humanities. Finally, is the fourth integrated speaking question. Here you have some lecture audio and then a preparation time of 20 seconds and again 60 seconds to give your answer. And this could be on life science, social science, physical science or again the humanities. You can expect to speak on various topics including personal experience, campus based situations and academic material. In conversation or lecture audios, speakers will have native English accents from North America, Britain and Australia. Timing is extremely important since you have 20 to 30 seconds to prepare and 45 to 60 seconds to respond to each section. So practice your pacing and answer each question as completely and clearly as possible. Like any other section, you can take and use notes at any time. You will record your responses into a microphone. There is no chance to re-record your answer. So if you make mistakes, don't worry, just keep going because you'll be rated on your overall performance. Once your time is up, they'll be automatically submitted. You are graded by Human Raters and Speech Rater, which is ETS's automated scoring engine, based on the delivery, language use, and topic development of your spoken response. Don't worry too much about perfecting your accent, because the content is more important. Your score won't be affected by accent, unless it interferes with your response's intelligibility. All questions are graded out of four points, but there are separate rubrics for independent speaking and integrated speaking questions. Here's the independent speaking rubric. Here's the integrated speaking rubric. As you can see, both assess your response in terms of your delivery, language use, and topic development. Check out our future lectures that break down how to get a high score on the speaking section in detail. Your final scale score is calculated by adding up all the raw scores from the four questions you've solved. For example, 3 plus 3 plus 3.5 plus 3.5 equals 13. Taking the mean and dividing the raw score total by 4, for example 13 divided by 4 equaling a score of 3.25, dividing the mean by the highest score, which is 4, and multiplying it by 100 to get a percentage, so for example 3.25 divided by 4 equals 81.25, and then finally multiplying the percentage by 30, which is the total score you can get in the speaking section. Uh, for example 81.25 times 30 equals 24. Listen to the directions carefully to accurately understand your task. Do not use memorized responses or templates because that will cause you to lose points. Respond in a way so that even someone who has not read the passage or listened to the audio would be able to understand the topic just by listening to your answer. Clearly present what the issue is, the lecturer or student's opinion and the reasons for holding that opinion. You don't need to mention all the details from the lecture or conversation. Stick to the main points. Focus on organizing your ideas clearly and saying substantial things rather than perfecting your pronunciation. If you make a mistake, just keep going. If you're at the testing center, speak into your microphone at an appropriate volume and distance. Don't worry about what other test takers are doing or saying. Focus on yourself. 
Use prep time effectively. Plan the important ideas you want to communicate in an organized way. Look out for our future lectures to get more in-depth strategies on how to master the speaking section.